Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download Wix website as PDF. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So what we need to do first here is we first have to access our account. So go to Wix.com, log in into your account, and access the website that you want to download the PDF for. Now in this case, I already have this website here. So let's go to the homepage here and click on edit side. And that should actually open up your editor for your website. Now, once you've done that, once the editor actually loads up, at the top right of your screen, you should see a publish button. So when you actually hover over it, it's going to show you an option that says view site. Now in this case, let's just glue that and just click on view site here. And from here, that would actually load up your website here. Now, what we need to do next is we need to download our website here. Now, to do that, what we need to do is scroll down a bit here and make sure that you have an empty space here. Now, I have an empty space here for art. Now, what we need to do next is we just need to right click on it and choose the option here that says print. Now, by the way, using the print option here is a great way for you to save uh, time on actually uh, getting your website here. So instead of manually, uh, Crop, cropping your page here or taking a screenshot on the specific page here and basically putting it in a document uh, actually saves you some time so you don't have to do this manually now in this case you should be able to start previewing, previewing your website here so what I like to do here or try doing here I just actually make sure that I actually click on the pages section here click on all and the layout is actually going to be landscape now, if you choose portrait here, it might not be shown correctly. As you can see, some sections of it is actually crop, cropped out. I mean, but that's why I want to use landscape in here. Now, from here, as you can see, it's a lot more viewable here, all of the contents I have. Also, if you click on more settings here, you also have the option to basically add headers and footers. And I also like to add a background graphics here. So I have my background images also included in my PDF file here. Now, in this case, you could also change the scale here. So default or custom margins can be default, none or minimum custom here. And the page per sheet here is going to be one. Now, letter or paper size here is going to be letter by default. It can, you can change that if you want to as well. Now, once you're done, you could just click on save here. And from here, you could go ahead and just add a name for your PDF file here. You could go ahead and just click on save here. Now, once you've done that, that should be able to uh, be able to save that specific file here. So once we go back into that folder, as you can see, I actually downloaded or saved this in my downloads folder. So whenever we actually open it up, it should actually show us our website here. But again, uh, the download process or conversion of your website here to PDF might not be as complete or as uh, perfect. As you can see, some elements of it is missing. So in this case, it, the actual look of your website here actually, actually depends on the team and how you actually set up your website here. So for certain aspects on it, you might need to basically crop certain uh, areas on it so that it's going to be properly shown. But in this case, that's how you actually download your Wix website to as PDF. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.